So today I'm going to show you guys how to get a good bass sound for your recordings without spending any money. Uh, we're using a program called Contact 5 Player, which is absolutely free. You can get it from Native Instruments. You want to get the Contact 5 Player program and then the free factory selection. That's the actual samples, all the individual software, instru software instruments. One won't really do anything without the other. It's about a gig download, but it's got a whole bunch of stuff in there. Uh, which you want to check out, but for right now we're just focusing on the basses. Now the factory selection has two really good sounding basses. There's the funk bass, which I use this for pretty much everything, be it uh, uh, rock, metal, um, some uh, electronic stuff. Uh, I just really like the sound of it. It pretty much is my go-to. Then there's also the, the classic bass, which sounds a little bit more like a Fender. Now both these basses go down to a low B, which is especially useful if you're into uh, drop tune riffs or seven string stuff or whatever. Now um, here's here's a, for example how the funk bass sounds in a mix and some stupid song I made in like five minutes. <laughs> Sounds a uh, solo by itself. It would probably sound a lot less robotic if I would have put any amount of effort into actually varying the velocities of the notes. But truth be told, unless the bass is like the forefront, like like right out out, out in front as far as uh, what the person is hearing. Most people aren't going to be able to tell the difference, and you can just vary it a little bit, and it'll be fine, or it even may sound good to you just like this. I mean, nine times out of ten, I don't even really bother um, varying it up that much, because I can't really tell, and hardly can anyone else. Now, as far as uh, EQing the bass, I, I usually keep everything stock in the uh, contact player, but I'll usually scoop a big chunk of 500 hertz out to kind of get rid of some boxiness, and I'll also high pass add about 60 hertz to take out the low lows, which are usually uh, reserved for the uh, the kick drum, so it doesn't muddy everything up. So here's the four. And after. Pretty subtle differences, but, but um, I think it, it uh, certainly makes uh, all the difference in the world in uh, as far as the mix is concerned. So there you have it. There's a good quick way to get yourself a uh, free bass sound without spending any money or making friends with people who play bass. So there you go. Uh, thanks for watching.